Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time it's another Annapurna published classic in the terms of The Artful Escape. A stunning game developed by the awesomely named Beethoven and Dinosaur, published by Annapurna Interactive and it's usually available for 1674 but right now is free if you have Xbox Game Pass. So go get Game Pass downloaded if you somehow haven't already. So we play as Francis Vendetti, who has to basically be the new folk music guitarist legend after his uncle, Mr. D Mr. Dead Uncle. Uh, we end up going through this whole journey where basically it seems like someone slipped us a little LSD or something. But, I mean, it is just stunning visually, as you will see. Now as for achievements, it's an easy list. Six are story related, six are missable, but they can be easily missed if you're not looking or paying attention to them. It's mainly just to do with jamming with different things and in different places, but of course I'll let you know when we get there. All in all, we are looking at around two to three hours to complete this, so with that being said then, let us begin. And can I just say, I want to start off by saying, even just the start, the intro song is just mwah, pure perfection. It's bloody lovely. So we can just go ahead and start the game. Now, a lot of this, basically what we can do then is... We're just going to be bashing through the dialogue, just smashing through the A button. The dialogue choices literally do not matter through the majority of the game. Um, I think there's only a couple of occasions where we need to maybe pick specific ones. But I'm not actually sure we do. So uh, anytime you see me picking a dialogue option and I pick it quick, it literally doesn't matter. You can choose whatever in the hell you want. Um, now, if you remembered playing the After Party and the Oxen Free games, it's the kind of similar style uh, dialogue as that, as you'll be able to see in just a moment. So here is Francis then, so holding the X button there, he will start strumming this song. This is what's going to happen again, a lot through the game. Um, we're going to be holding the X button to be playing the guitar through various different scenes. You know, at the minute we are LSD free, so <laughs> we are in normal land. But we do have glasses which we can't actually see out of, so I don't know why he didn't bother to wipe his glasses a bit there, but that's fine. So when it tells us to again, obviously we're going to be pressing the X button. We can also run using the left trigger. And honestly, to go a little bit quicker, you can run and just keep jumping from, uh, <laughs> you know, whichever direction you're going. That'll get you a bit quicker. So, slamming the X button. Now, I won't be doing that commentary the ho for the whole game. Might uh, pop up with a couple of uh, guitar jokes. <laughs> we'll soon see. Um, but, yeah. So, a lot of it is just sort of running around. Uh, going to different places, different locations. But, of course, I'm just going to be showing you how to get all the missable achievements. And how to uh, get this game done as quick as you can. Even though, even now, even without the LSD trip, we are... Pretty slamming. And look, it's a uh, hot little ghost lady. So here we go. So, again, if you've played the uh, Oxen Free and After Party games, it's exactly the same sort of dialogue options or the, the way the dialogue is set out. Uh, but again, whatever you choose, the dialogue options do not matter in the slightest. So keep choosing what you want, and life will be f f fantastic. You see, I find wouldn't you? Not sure about dangerous. Excellent. I need you. I'm going to commit. What's the crime? The best guy. The mysterious. Okay. I knew you would. Duh. And here we go then, so we're able to walk for the first time, so again, if you press the left trigger, you can start doing a gentle jog. To be honest, being a uh, chunky but muscular hunk, I'm already knackered at uh, watching Francis take a little jog there. But hey, that's just me. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather leave my running to in-game characters rather than real life. Because screw running! So you can always have a look at uh, different scenery and things, um, which again, Always lovely, always pretty, but, uh, you know, we just want to... This is just an achievement guide, so we're just going to be blasting through as quick as we can. So we're just going to keep pressing the A but the left trigger, the A button to jump. Incredibly, god damn. You, you know one of us is, is going to fall flat on our face if we are running and jumping through here. 
or you know something creepy is going to attack us because there's always a weird stalker man that's in the woods i don't know why that's not just a tv thing that is an always thing god damn it anyway just keep running all the way to the left <laughs> until we get to the stage and i'll tell you what this this little field of wheat must be a little throwback to um great britain's former prime minister Theresa may who said the naughtiest thing she ever did as a child or at all in her life was run through a field of wheat which is just typical Tory posh rich dickheadedness, quite frankly. Hilarious at the time, really pisses you off when you think about it though. Anyway, <laughs> just keep running to the left, enjoying the scenery, and here we are then. Oh my god, it's the after party! Huh, <laughs> after party. They really plug into the end. Of course not. Oh. So just head up on stage, do that thing that you do, press the X button, jam like hell, and then we're just going to speak to um, Violet Vendetti. Well, her name's not Vendetti, but it is Violet. She's the, um, you know, the one from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate oh, Factory, God, and she got all, oh, no. hey. she turned up into a big bubble gun. Well, she grew up and then went to work for this sort of alien psychedelic thing, which means she's off her nut, which is always cute. First one. Bonanza. That's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later. Wait, is this Rami's stuff? You're still- Yeah. He Everyone's punched him in the- I'm friend. I know who you are. I saw the fly. There's a very- You ever made it to the- Been too scared to try. It's beautiful. Yeah. You should for a full. Thanks. I think this just goes to show that even if you're a bit nerdy or you've got no eyes for some reason, or your hair looks like you've just woken out of bed, you can make it to the top. To the very top. I think it's a very good important lesson there, which is probably not the point of this part at all. But still, I make it up and I like it. You got this. Well, I'm gonna book it.
So welcome to the town of life, a pretty little town, probably not like Life is Strange where, you know, your family and your brother gets murdered and everything, but still. So we're going to happily skip, merrily jump all the way to the right hand side again. Plenty of people to talk to, plenty of things to look at. There is also a dog, if you keep going all the way to the right there is a little dog you can pet, which is also always nice. We've got our bald... I mean, I, I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be to us, but he's bald, angry, and he constantly looks like he's about to take the world's biggest crap. But, uh, you know, pure South Park style. But we'll just come back to him later. Anyway, we're just going to stick in this elevator, press the Y button to head up. Again, if you keep on going to the right, you can pet a dog, which is always just the nicest thing in games. Because dogs are super cute. Apart from the angry, bitey ones. Anyway, we're going to head to the left now. And we're going to have a little chat again. You can speak to people, speak to musicians and everyone around town if you want, but of course we're just going to keep going. And we're going to speak to Cassandra right meow. And this is where we think we get the first hit of LSD. Pick any book that you choose, makes no difference, but uh, yeah. She basically slipped something into a drink and now our eyes are even worse. Because nobody's got eyes in the town. If you take a little look, everyone's got the same glasses. So whether the developers were just too lazy to give eyes, or if that's supposed to be the whole point of the game, I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to keep skipping all the way up the stairs to the left. And up to the next um, section of the town. Which is actually a really nice idea. I want to live in a town like this, rather than have to deal with cokeheads and crack cocaine legends. That's about all it is for this town at the moment. Anyway, skip to the right. Skip, skip, skip to Malou. And then talk to Lucy. Lucy. I mean, oh, Hank, just. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Lucy. Once again, it looks like the LSD is really starting to kick in now, so we're gonna skip to Malou, my darling, all the way to the right. Basically, we're off into this house, so press the white button when you get to the door, and we're going to speak to our delicious-looking mother. Which, please don't interpret it that in any other way, other than, you know, we're on LSD and we're hungry, not, you know, anything like that, because that is, uh, uh, that's for different parts of the world. Anyway, we get our first achievement of the game for arriving at Francis's house. We are, of course... Not going to be missing that one, and it's unmissable, and <laughs> it's really starting to kick in now. Our eyes, if we had any, would be in the back of our heads right now. But when that conversation is done, we're going to head all the way to the right, past the typically 1960s, 70s uh, wallpaper, heading up, pressing the white button, and then heading up the ladder, again pressing the white button, to go into our bedroom. This is why America's cooler, by the way. Britain has these puny little ball sack attics, which are absolute crap bags. And it's just full of rats and spiders and death. And America just has these big, massive, cool attics in every house that you go into. Unless it's just on games and TV, of course. Anyway, press the Y button on the hand icon right there. I do, eventually, I just have a little look what's on my desk. And then we're going to put a record on. Chill out. And that would be the end of the game, if of course it was a Jitalon one. <laughs> I'm sorry, really got to stop the Jitalon bashing. They're not all bad, I don't suppose. are just 62 miles away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet.
something bad. Tell you what, that kind of looked like uh, Pickle Rick. Looks like he's grown up now, got bigger. Uh, and uh, Pickle Rick, funniest shit I've ever seen. Anyway, we're going to head down a little bit. And as we can see, it's not Pickle Rick at all. But it is, I don't know, some kind of alien thing with brains and five eyeballs or something. I really don't know. But anyway, we're going to have a little conversation and we're going to wonder what the hell's going on. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Again, always for the majority, you, you are picking any dialogue option you want. If you want to be jerk, you want to be nice, you do whatever the hell you want. What? How did you do that? Where are my pajamas? Does it add- I'm in love. Why are you giving- is Lightman some kind of... Hold out your hand, human. So this is where the game gets really psychedelically cool. If you press and hold the X button, we can blast the lights on. So just keep doing it until all the lights on this bit are uh, lit, like so. Because basically what we're going to do now is get a missable achievement. Again, this one is very easily missed. Uh, but you can just let go of the X button now. You don't have to go on for this long. I just wanted to hear the music because it is slicey. That is phenomenal. So as soon as you stop, we're going to have a little bit more conversation, a little bit more dialogue with... We're just going to call him Pickle Rick anyway because it makes it easier. And again, funniest shit that you've ever seen. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you... So here we go then. What you need to do is... Just constantly hold the X button. Now what we need to do is basically light up the whole town. And obviously the way to do that is by holding the X button, uh, playing the guitar, and basically shredding like hell. So we need to just walk all the way to the left and right, every single stop, every single level, until everything in this town is lit up. I mean, we do look spectacularly cool right now, even with eyeballs. So remember to go all the way to the left as well. And then we can just head down by pressing the Y button. When we get off then, head to the left, again hold the X button, head to the left, make sure everything's lit up. Now surely if everyone's trying to sleep, you're just literally pissing everyone off right now, but pissing everyone off in a real nice way. So head to the left and then heading all the way to the right. Nice, we're going to light up the whole damn town. I mean really, this is just, it's, it's just so nice. The music and lighting everything up is just, it's just genuinely such a stunning game. And it's another brilliant one by Annapurna. Love it. So we're heading all the way to the right, past the old fairy floss. Past the old other tram. Again, we're just going all the way to the right-hand side. Past the old porn shop. The P-A-W-N shop, by the way. And the P-O-R-N shop as well. Every town's got one. They, <laughs> one of those pawn shops are my favourite. And <laughs> we're just going to head down. Once again, making sure, obviously, that from the left and right, everything is golden and lit up. Now, if we head to the right this time, I do head to the left a little bit, but we're going to head to the right first. Um, just so that we can light up every single bit. There we go, then. So, light it all up. Surely, the, again, the town is going to be baying for your blood right now. Like, bruh, I got work. I got to be off of work at half four in the morning, and you're taking a piss. Professional footballers right now, like Cristiano Ronaldo with his sheep thing, you know, waking him up in the middle of the night. This is exactly like that. It's a piss take. Anyway, from the right, we're going all the way to the left, and then we will end up speaking to Pickle Rick, and that is where the achievement should unlock. So as long as you went left and right all the way through, then this is where the achievement should unlock. Um, if, if it hasn't, just um, re reload your checkpoint or... Go out of your main menu, quit the game and go back in, and then hopefully you should be back into the point where you can just do it all again. That's how you make it. And don't let... This him? I'm... Um, uh, how? I heard the word... 
You heard right? Uh, dance out. Are you jammer up? Now we ain't got. I'm about to. Never. This is the. Wait. I'm. Oh, baby, we'll. What? I'm in the midst. I can't just go. The night. Baby, we're going on. Man. Chain. Let me give you the first lesson free. So this is the main thing for the majority of the game. Basically, when we come up to a, 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 a few bosses and things like that, what, it's basically one of those sort of mini games that we just, it's basically like a Simon Says sort of thing. So, again, it'll always be the left bumper, right bumper, Y, X and B buttons. And you literally just have to copy exactly what the other thing is doing. Uh, so, obviously, we're going to start off with Lightman right here. He's going to do Y, so obviously it's the Y button. Again, this is just a tutorial, but it'll be the same for absolutely everything. So, you literally just need to copy what he's doing. Um, it can get a little bit more complicated a bit later on, but still, it's quite easy. And even if you do get it wrong, you just start from the state, same bit. You don't, like, have to go through the whole boss and everything again. So, this is why this game is ridiculously good, ridiculously easy, and ridiculously enjoyable. Lightman looking more like Samuel Jackson, to be honest, than anyone else there, I resemble, I think. What do you think? He'll act Wait, this isn't a th young blood. Francis, one look, you need a bit. <laughs> because, I mean, this is what you would normally do, isn't it? If some pickle rick looking alien thing and some random Samuel L. Jackson guy started falling from the sky, you'd definitely follow them, wouldn't you? You just. In fact, you probably just would, wouldn't you? So. Oh, I, got, I got work at six in the morning, or I follow pickle rick and Samuel L. Jackson into this dingy, dark, weird-looking basement thing. Let's see how this one pans out, is it? Let's just see how it goes. Um, I mean, for the majority of the parts, <laughs> though, uh, we're generally just taking a left or right. There's no way that you can really get lost or anything. So, uh, yeah. But we're starting to get into the psychedelically challenged, unchallenged, greatest part of the game now. Again, weird, dingy, dark basement, or go to work at 6 a.m.? I think we all know which one we'd rather. We'd always take a chance. Are we gonna stop one day? But you see, beyond that, what is that? Oh man, that's the outside offer. I suddenly feel. Oh, told you to. What? Oh, to me, not you.
So that is the second achievement then, the journey does begin, and this is what's going to be the majority now, uh, basically, of the game. A few little platforming sections, again, we're going to keep running with the left trigger, holding the X button. Now, you don't really need to hold the X button to jam as you go through the level, you don't really need to, but as you do, um, the environment sort of lights up and everything, as we'll see a little bit later on. But, um, but it is fantastic, I mean, just... <laughs> I tell you what, everyone at Beethoven and Dinosaur must have had a fantastic time <laughs> creating this game, especially drawing the things. So we are going to press A to jump, of course. At the minute, well, in just a little bit, we will be able to double jump as well by, of course, pressing A twice, as is the usual. Um, but I tell you, this is where the LSD really kicks in. Just fantastic. And if this is what's going to be like on LSD, well, I might start taking it a little. I'm just joking. Sponsored content from myself. Here's the double jump, by the way. Oh, <laughs> double jump. Now, if you can do it um, properly without falling, that would also be great. But that's another good thing about this game. If you do fall, you basically just start, like, seconds from wherever you just, um, started. So it's not like any checkpoints or anything. It's pretty good. So as you jump in the air and press the X button, you do, like, this wicked shred. It basically gives you a little bit more height as well, which will come in handy for a missable achievement as well. Um, so yeah, the controls are really simple. By the way, back to the sponsored content that I just sponsored myself. I don't condone any drugs, and I don't want anyone to take drugs. Because drugs are for the weak, man, okay? There we go, just thought I'd have to get that one out there. So, but we do begin the trip of a lifetime. Again, the controls are very simple. The platforming sections are very simple, and it is just awesomely cool to jump in the air and then press the X button to do a massive shred. It just is. <laughs> you know, we got aliens now shooting at each other just while we take it. I mean, it's just cool, man. It's just so goddamn cute. Straight. Whoa, I'm a wonder. Are you tough? You know, I did see her. What was it? She was playing. No way. The only reason we. What do you call your out here? I'm dead. Mine. Okay, that's a very nice face. Um. Anyway, you've got a hand on your face, and I don't know, is that like a fish something? Anyway, we can now choose our name. So, of course, because it, I am me, I am, of course, the comical Welsh hunter, which is just, you know. I mean, I hope that's true anyway, but, uh, you know, some people may feel very differently. I've had some comments which do expose that <laughs> difference in the past. So I'm the comical Welsh hunter. Obviously, you can be whatever the hell you want, you gorgeous little bunch of bastards, you. But yes, so we've got what's supposed to resemble a face, but she's got like a fish tail hanging out of her and hands sticking in her eyeballs and all sorts. Really don't know what the hell it's meant to be. But it's not God anyway. But we do actually make it to where we need to be, which is the comical... No, not the comical lung. The, um... The, um... I'll tell you in a minute. The Cosmic Lung. I knew that. I knew that. The Cosmic Lung is what we needed. Th that's where we found. And we basically just come out of somebody's butthole, more or less. <laughs> By the looks of that. Well, hopefully we don't smell like we've just come out of somebody's butthole anyway. But this is the basically the, the main home and hub world. This is where we'll be coming back after we finish. Basically, it's like three long levels that we have to do. And we'll be coming back here after every time. So we're just going to speak to Pickle Rick. Again, there's not particularly a lot to do here we're just gonna go up and down an elevator a couple of times talk to some different people but have a look at all these Rick and Morty looking aliens and a couple of dildos right there and you've got whatever the hell that's supposed to be a couple of jiggly wiggly uh, dancing things as well I mean everyone looks happy 
Looks like a little fireball, and I can't even explain things. Anyway, we're heading up. This is where the elevator is then, so press the Y button. Don't need to press the pause button. And we can go just upstairs to the mezzanine. Very posh. Very posh alien bit. And we can just actually head to the right. You can head to the left if you want. There is a bar there. You can speak to the barmaid. You can speak to Pickle Rick if you want. Um, but it doesn't add anything in terms of achievements or anything. So we can just head to the right. Speak to Samuel L. Jackson and Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's the whip, the tool. Wow. This is Mark. My name. Recap. This. Man, she really murders my... Now, any questions? Nope. Visit Violetta. Wait, is... So after Sam Jackson departs, go ahead, just speak to Violet right here, who is by her... I mean, she went from being this big round purple chocolate and Charlie factory thing to being quite the handy looking engineer of sorts. What an upgrade. I got it for your big- Oh. Listen, Frank, we put on- That's the con- No shows, you don't play. I think- I'm gonna- Really? We're done. Well... So anyway, what's gonna happen now is we're going to enter our first big level. So go past these uh, furry little butt plugs right here. Head back down to the main theatre, we're obviously gonna, basically, what's gonna happen, we're gonna speak to Sam Jackson again, or Lightman, who his real character is called, and then we're gonna go back through the butthole into our first level. Okay, quickly now, perform, I'm gonna be having the plate, but they couldn't, oh, come on, man. Now this is, there's no, well, but there's all, you feel me? Not really. What should I, I've got this. Um, you have, you something. No time to. Violet, where? You're on the cheese, Dan. That's her. Hey, you're look to help. You'll need a piece. Son Hall. Is this? Oh, man. Let me up when you're. A map. Then. Violet, damn it. And welcome then to the snow level. So, what the game is basically going to tell you to do, you can do it. You don't have to do it if you don't want, but basically, if you just keep holding the X button, like I've said before, um. You can basically wake the environment up. I mean, mate, look at that. That is just... That is fit. That is fit with a capital F-I-T right there. What a view. But of course, there is still a little bit of platforming to do. But everything's just so easy. There's nothing really that um, you can miss. But there are a few things. And I will be letting you know wh what they are. Basically, they're called Amp Jammers. Uh, not amp pajamas, amp jammers. So I'll let you know when we get there in a bit. But this is this will basically be it for the majority of these levels. We sort of end up going to the right. We're just going to keep on jamming while uh, pressing the X, holding the X button while everything jams. The environment wakes up and looks banging. This is the first uh, stage pad, the amp jammer stage pad. Basically, jump, press the Y button. And then what this will do, now there are some story related ones, but there are some that you can miss as well. I'll obviously let you know every time we get to one. 
But this is basically what we're going to do first of all is not do anything for three minutes. So literally just stand here, wait here for three minutes until the stage fright achievement unlocks. Um, again, you can do this on any uh, stage pad. Literally doesn't matter anyone, but it's always worth getting the first one of the way first. So wait for three minutes, get the stage fright achievement, and then basically just press the X, Y, B button, and then the L, B, and R, B buttons together. And now there are a couple of things. When we activate a stage pad, some of them we need to, like I said, like this, we need to get a bridge or we need something that helps us get across to the other side. Um, other times they start, um, basically it'll just be like a little, I don't know, a little, like a little thing. Uh, but I'll tell you when we come to the first one. Just as we get to the bottom of the hill here, there's going to be a snowman. As you can see in the background, stand here, Press and hold the X button, and then our friend Jack Frost will start get bobbing along. That is what's going to get us the snowman achievement. That one can be easily missed. Um, so, yeah. So, as long as you've got that one, we can then move on. And like I said, this is what you want to do. Wake up the environment, make it look even more banging. So, here is another stage pad. So, every time we get to one of these, just jump by pressing the Y button. And this is what I meant by a thing. Um... It doesn't do anything, but if you press the white button next to it, it's basically just like a... I can't remember what it is, like an interactive thing. So it doesn't do anything, but we need them for the achievement later on anyway. Um, other stage pads then basically give us the boss fight. And I do that in quotation marks if you so wish. Uh, because they're not really boss fights, but they are just easy as hell. So jump on this next stage pad then as well. Get all these... <laughs> I mean, whatever the hell they are in the background up and dancing as well. Uh, yeah, so that is probably the longest achievement in the game where we just have to activate every stage pad. Otherwise, it's all good. So smash yourself on this one as well. So then we might as well tell a few jokes then while we're uh, walking, huh? So, what do you call a guitar that never finishes a job? A quitter. <laughs> nah. I really genuinely love how this game goes from real pretty and gorgeous looking scenery to real creepy ass stuff like that. It's 
It is definitely one for the soul and the eyes, and it's hilarious slash creepy at the same time. <laughs> it's so good. So after all this running and all that walking to the right, all we're going to do is head into the Grollum Talent and Flair Bar. I mean, that's a long way to walk to just get into one building. Like, couldn't one of the monsters have just got us there? You know. Anyway, we're here now. And again, not a lot to do, but we are going to speak to El Kitty, right, Mia? Crap. Uh, hmm. Yeah, doesn't my grip or it can Why? not listen to it. You'd better go. And that means the door's open for us, and now guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing some more walking to the right. So, yeah, generally this happens a lot. The platform's easy, there are obviously no enemies or anything like that, it's just... You know what, someone mentioned to me that this is more of an experience than it is a game. And I tell you what, I've got to be inclined to agree with him. But, I mean, that doesn't mean that the experience is anything bad, the experience is brilliant. <laughs> but it's fantastic nonetheless. So here we go then. We are coming up to our first quote unquote boss fight. Um, obviously, it's not particularly a boss fight. Now, obviously, remember what we've done with Sam Jackson at the start of the game. The, the little tutorial shows us what to do. Basically, this is going to what's happened again after Charlie Chocolate Factory Violet goes away. Huh? That was the. It's a dick. Ugh. Right. So I'll let you. You lie. And so it begins. Now, as Beastie wakes up here, remember where your left bumper, right bumper, Y, X, and B buttons are. Should be fairly obvious, but we look, we're copying the beast. So I done it completely wrong there. But as you can see there, so it'll be Y first, of course, and next it'll be Y again, R, B. X, L, B, and B. So, yeah, exactly the same. Just do exactly what he does. And it literally doesn't matter if you get it wrong. You'll just end up starting from literally like two seconds before. So, don't panic if you do get it wrong. I won't be speaking, of course, through the whole boss fight. Because, you know, I don't want to put you the hell off or anything. Just enjoy. And that is the first beast jammed with. Now, isn't it just funny that all these creatures, luckily for us, have five eyes? If they didn't, then we'd have been screwed. That's lucky for us, isn't it? So, yeah. So you now know what really is going to be entailing throughout these levels. We're going to be basically walking to the right, doing some platforming, doing some sliding, holding the X button to do some jamming. Again, you can if you want, you don't have to. Remember to activate this stage pad right here as well. Always activate every stage pad. Like I said, some are story related like now, otherwise you won't get past. Some can be missable, so don't just walk past every single one. And then we basically fight a big boss at the end of it, have a little jam with him, 
run a little bit more to the right and we end up finishing the level, so it's owl good. So this is another little stage that we need to do, basically we're stuck at the minute, so we need, a little stage is going to appear out of absolutely nowhere. This is one of the best trips I think you can ever have really, rather than dragons chasing you and snip. But of course we're just copying, doing the Simon Says thing, copying exactly what the stage pad tells us to do. <laughs> and you know when you get it wrong when you hear that, that pure guitar hero. Luckily nobody's booing us this time, so we'll take that one. So yeah, don't mind these ones because you only have to do about three or four and then we get what we need. And just, just look at it man, I tell you what. The art and animation style of this game is just genuinely one of the best I've ever seen in a game. Just phenomenal. D dope is right bro. And as we get to the car here, you have to hold the X button to get it moving, so start jamming and it'll start moving. The musician's dream. Now what I do want to know is, there's this whole stigma about guitarists and their massive ego. For anyone who plays guitar, please let me know, is that a thing? Is your ego so huge that you can't contain it on stage? <laughs> I've been trying to, <laughs> having a look at some things and, you know, maybe it's because you're up front. Maybe it's the lead singer who's got the biggest ego. Whoever's in a band, let me know. Who has got the biggest ego in a band? As a drummer, it definitely wasn't me. I, I, I was definitely the coolest, but I didn't have the biggest ego. <laughs> Be since I'm <laughs> well, this it isn't it. I uh, you yeah. I'm trying uh, to some, who I ah. Uh, that's what, what you can tell me. Yeah, where oh, to tell me of your home planet. <sighs> Now we basically need to continue our lie. Wonder where we're from. You can choose anyone you want. You got Von, Von Deladon, Garmoth, Candy Hamer, Ramjet Rock. Uh, we're just going to go with Ramjet Rock because that generally sounds pretty cool. And I didn't even realize it was home to a billion spiders, which now I regret my decision instantly. Because spiders are devil's spawn. Especially like the weird green spitty ones. Australia, I feel sorry for you. Although, saying that, Australians are hard bastards, so they don't even care. It's just us. It's basically the Brits that are the, that are the fannies with uh, little uh, tiny spiders. <laughs> anyway, now we're on this uh, chat show. Again, literally doesn't matter which options you choose. We're just going to speak to Morbo from Futurama. He's had an upgrade. Um, it occupies a time rift. It must have been... I never slept. Your pet? No. An axe? No, they. <laughs> Your conquest seemed. What would you say? Being the first. There must be no. I was never. I was. Oh, to get a grab. 
How did it happen? Wanna start? Sound. The in flight inter. What did. You Mystery. Did you ever see. No. It's a dis. I wonder what kind of creature. What would they drink? What? A house. Where would I. To go through. You feel. Don't we all feel we how high ambition though these huh hmm the d without grief no t you're lying they seem <laughs> there we're all how once like new what but that's all we've got time yeah yes but we're not excuse me not really <gasps> Hello? Sorry, I kind of forgot that app. Yeah, it was now when new the cosmic it moves a loop. I've never been in a real got a so after running from the stage and everyone had gone home. This is sort of a different bit. So now we're going to be playing single musical notes. So you just press the X, the Y, and the B button. Um, for some reason, it says press A when you're ready. That's just a throw off, that'll just put you off mega for about three seconds, maybe. But this is what we need to do, sometimes just to get to the other side and keep things moving. Sometimes we'll be able to hold a note, other times you'll have to play these singular notes like now. So just keep slamming the X, Y and B button every now and again, just to keep it moving along beautifully. What happened? So a glance, so spe- A glint? Light? Yeah, the trick. I've got it. We've all bet for the promise and the- Wow. Are we, um, uh, are we just killing these species of harmless looking dinosaur things? Saws!
And we're not quite done with the level yet. We've got a little bit more running to the right and platforming to do. <laughs> but we are coming up close to the end of this big, long first level. Enjoy the... I'm not... Eggs. It's always... Thank you. Maybe out here, like I'm where, and that's. I don't think so. it's supposed. To, it's supposed to be if it comes. You're a. If you remember at your store and want some, they cannot. Thanks, Star Gordon. The way it's in the left. And what's happening is we are going to come up to the first, sorry, I said the beast earlier on was the first main boss. It's not. That was kind of like a sub boss, if you will. Here is the first one. He's a happy looking little fellow. Now you can see obviously where his, he's got two eyes and then three eyes on the top of his head or whatever the hell they are. So again, it's exactly the same. You're just copying exactly the same as he does. Don't worry if you get it wrong. You, uh, you, you just can't get it wrong. So just keep on going. We'll slap it out, and then as soon as we beat the boss, we'll get the achievement, and we can head back through the old buttonhole and get back to the Cosmic Lung. Your laser remote. Well then, let's dance. Bam, 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 bam. That is it then. So we've done it. So with these ones, of course, these bosses or whatever they are, 
they start, it can be kind of difficult to concentrate sometimes in terms of when you've got to be quite quick. They are dancing, you've got to be quite quick. And for some reason, it was the left bumper and X button that were just confusing the crap out of me. Honest to God, stupidity from my part, because it is very easy, but for whatever reason, I was having some troubles with it. Um, but otherwise, this is it for like literally the majority of the game. So, again, you'll have no problems, you can't get it wrong. But that is the first achievement done. Now let us nip through the button. Holy oleo! Man, he looks just so cool with all the swords sticking out of him as well. That trip is a re It smells funny in there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, so we've got our Dr. Zoidberg there looking a bit better than he usually does in the Futurama series anyway. Um, but, wow, this is... I mean, everything just looks cool. Everything is just so cool. But we are going to head to the elevator. We're going to head up now. And there is a storyline that's happening and people are going to get pissed off and upset and all types of things are happening. But because we're slamming through the dialogue, we don't actually know. So, unless you're not slamming through the dialogue, <laughs> then please let me know what's actually going on. Because apparently we were going to do something and I don't know why we didn't do what we were supposed to do. Anyway, um, Skinny Violet is now pissed off. <laughs> Unlucky. You're not, you're a you're not it was all and I even when the past I am just you could have tore you would have never why would <sighs> lightning is what you'd like oh so anyway head back past pickled Rick right there and we're obviously going down to the main theater. Now, I edited it out a bit because I actually went down to the bottom one first, but it is the main theory to go into because, of course, that is where the characters are. And we're going to have a little bit more chat now, and then we are going back through the cosmic anal gland and heading back through to the next level. Not bad. You were late on. You were. Oh, must have been. Who wants to Trom's off. Ah what, really? Yep. He turned it. He did what? Oh, well, uh, he's an art, the prod. You know the chance for us? My n Your name's gonna- Don't think I have it. When you're ready for the- Youngblood, what are you- If you don't want- Why are you- Why are you dancing? Why are you put- I can't- Now that's- What are you afraid- It's hard- Afraid they'll- No. Well, back home, some folk, like, I thought it, I'm starting, and it's, I'm blood. You're probably right. Probably me, either given it, you haven't. What's that? Are you? Yes. An art is a Can I, did you ask? Your uncle? No, no one at all.
hard to. A violent. That's only stick jazz club. You gotta play. Arrive late? Oh, I can. What do you. Not play this. Wait, don't you flake out again. Damn it. So this time it's a little bit warmer and there is a missable achievement that we are going to come up to in just a bit. Uh, otherwise everything's pretty much the same thing. But we can bounce on big old mushrooms. Um, we don't have to take them so don't go eating them. Not if you're already in this bad psychedelic state. Uh, but it is generally the same so we're just going to keep jamming. Every Apparently we've got genital warts now um, but they're going to start popping up as well. Okay or if you don't like if you don't like the warts, uh, we'll just call them, um, I don't know, pearls. But pearls are pretty boring, aren't they? But we are going to come up to a miserable achievement. It basically involves this big mushroom and one of those giant archways. We need to just land on the top of one. And we'll come back to that when we get there. So here we are, we are coming up to this missable achievement, as soon as we jump to the other side, off this one, what we need to do is jump on this mushroom, get to the height of your jump, and then press the A button and then the X button again, and we need to land on this archway. So we may take a couple of attempts, if you jump up, the, at the height, press the A and then the X button, um, but you need to get it as soon as you literally hit the top jumping height, right there, and there we go. So. You don't have to stay on there, like you said, as soon as as soon as you reach the top and you jump off, that is what you do to get that achievement. Again, another very easily missable achievement. So just make sure to grab that one. Again, if you if you did end up missing it, try and reload the checkpoint and hopefully you start just a little bit further before that. Excellent looking fish. Jesus, I wish fish were like that. You'd be fed for about a thousand years if fish were doing that and were that bloody size around you. Yeah. What if I will Then what you for that last button play for you? Anyway, this is kind of a bitchy one, but what's the difference between a rock guitarist and a jazz guitarist? One plays three chords in front of thousands of people, the other plays thousands of chords in front of three people. Ho ho ho! Oh, it's getting bitchy up in meow. Yeah. Anyway, we're back in the desert, we're gonna have to do another couple of uh, little stage things right here to be able to get through the door. Hello, Miss... No, uh, let's... I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. Rhinos? Yeah, that'll do. Now for this part then, we just, as soon as we jump over to the next rock, we need to wait. Because uh, it's one of those epically fallen ones, so give yourself a double jump and an X button. 
to smash yourself over. Now just wait here for a moment. It's going to start flying us over to the other side. As you can see, I almost fudged that one up there until we get to the real other side. So in fact, I did fall off the first time and almost didn't learn my mistake the second time, which happens all too often, which is silly. And as we slide down, make sure to interact with the stage pad. Le bam! Le bam is French for bam. So this one was kind of the most difficult one for me, basically, this thing jams so much and sort of shakes about so much that it can be quite difficult to um, <laughs> keep up and know what you're doing, but once you've got a rhythm down, just take your time, be careful with it, should be easily enough though when you get a good rhythm down, like I said, with all the bosses, but it is a bouncy little bullshitter. So there we go then, we've got a golden ticket, we got a golden ticket to make my way. Uh, basically, Violet remember what that's like, she had a golden ticket once and then she blew into a big fat purple ball. But we've got what we need, so again it's just going to be a case of talking to skinny Violet and running all the way to the right as per. Donald, you're brought what? all the tips of ratings because <laughs> happy. Yeah. You got I think you should put that Your knowledge is if that's your term. So, first two. First two. Well, well, I've got to find a not a what? The only end you want to. You got to run. Dark.
opposant at least. Take off. My ship. I get your... So now, incredibly, then, we end up on this big giant ship with a alien who has a TV for a head or something like that. Anyway, what we need to do then is walk to the left. Uh, now, we need to actually speak to these people first. Basically, as you can see there, we can't actually get through the locked door yet. So, go ahead and speak to the TV head and the... Uh, I mean, is that supposed to be a, a big giant hand or something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know these things, but very fantastically designed. Like the fact they are great. I think I take room. Take. I've got a glossy one. So another easily missable achievement we are coming up to now. Basically, we have to go to every store and put something on from every store. Now, you can have a look in every store, but if you don't put something, at least one item of clothing or whatever on, you will miss the achievement. So we need to go to every store, put one item of clothing on at least, uh, because we're in the nude now. So we're going to go with something. We're going to make ourselves look hot. So we're going to go with a nice garter. You know, get a package looking meaty, but his looked a bit less meaty and a bit more inny. Uh, let's see what to go for next. We've got to go for a Goku style haircut, haven't we? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Look, the dragon, the Goku style dragon haircut. Or Super Saiyan Goku haircut, just in case anyone uh, has any problems and shouts at me for it. Uh, <laughs> next, we're going to pick some shades. What are we going to go for? Gotta go for a light visor. We're gonna start, end up looking like Daft Punk, to be honest. Which is never a bad thing. Because Daft Punk are legends. Next, we're going into Legs the Store. Now, what's gonna look hot? What is gonna make us look hot as here on stage? Some athletic shorts. Nice short shorts. So we can still get our guard going. Hell yeah. Into Shirt Reynolds, then. Uh, let's see, what's gonna make us look so hot? Nice loose silk there. Keep our nips free. Into face fact, uh, again you have to put every single thing on, so it doesn't matter what you look like, but you've got to put something on. We're going to end up looking more like Kiss now, and then we're going to head all the way up into Televator. Next we're going into the Sneaker Kitchen. So what is going to make you look good, what is going to make you look real fit? Uh, I think it's just going to be uh, Hero Boots I think for us. Basketball shoes, nah, everything stinks. Hero boots make us look good. Into fully metal jacket. Hmm, what we got now? Oh, it's got to be the light jacket. Got to be the Adam and the Ant style light jacket, hasn't it? Yep, that'll do. So now we've got to pick a guitar. Again, you can easily just walk past these, so, yep. What we're going to go for then is a nice warp rider. You can also choose the colours as well. You don't have to stick with the same colours. But we're going to go for a nice warp rider. And there is a stage you can jam on it. Um, I advise to just have a jam just for a couple of seconds. Just, I don't think it makes a difference to this achievement, but it's always more of a just in case. So make yourself look absolutely smoking. Into jumpsuit. Again, the guard goes away, sadly, but it's what we've got to do for achievements. We are the whores of achievements, after all. Are we not? Though we're going to go with a nice hero suit, matches the hero boots and the sort of Super Saiyan Goku haircut, even though it's not the same colour. Again, don't kill me for that one. Go with some nice hero gloves, or are we going for some light gloves? Yeah, light gloves will do. Light gloves will do. Anyway, we can now jump down. we got everything we need to. We can now head back. Again, make sure it does give you the option, so make sure that you've picked it something from every single shop. If you haven't, make sure to just go back through. And grab something else again. And as soon as you speak to TV head and weird dog hand thing, shouty thing, new threads achievement will unlock for us. Incorrect way. Oh. I want it. In a light gear. What? <laughs> but there's a hot says he's an idol. Right, so we're basically done with this section. Now we can head to the left. We need to jump up onto the roof. Well, there is a ladder there we can't jump onto. And then just head down. Couple of dialogue conversations. And that is it for this weird big ship thing. Yeah. Aren't you? Man, there's no... What? Oh, well, this is the latest... Um, it's not your... 
Well, it has been promoted to the... I've been what? The red more people. You're the... You... You have to... No, 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 no. Have to get... I'm the cap. I never met Tronum. Bravo. We're cut. Are you got every? Yeah. Um, What's your? I've got real. Oh, so there's. No... I don't. At <laughs> least because they dig it. There. You wanna make it? Well. My... Goodbye and good luck. So we are into a new area and once again obviously just like before it's going to be the same thing we're just going to keep on jamming keep going to the right this is a basically an area though that hates the electric guitar so again any dialogue options here we've got our golden ticket so we want to see the charlie uh we want to see the chocolate factory we don't want to see charlie screw charlie we want to see the glimmer factory oh can't look I oh, yeah. it's a gold cup. Well, that gold. Ah, uh, 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 all of it. There, please. Let your becoming. Have you? I'm off to. Stop that thing! These color palette clashes. By the way, what do you call a female police officer who plays guitar? She riff. Sheriff? She riff? <laughs> That's hilarious ish. Now I'm not sure if this next one is missable, I think you can keep on walking to the right, but interact with a stage pad to slam it down. Again, not sure if that's missable or if that's story related, but anyway, head down anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I was wondering if I... There is a... 
What a hit, son! What a hit! You're Coming up to another stage pad, here it is, so give that a good whack, bam, jump up, press the Y button, and we just need to do one of those quick, easy stage, uh, whatever the hell they are ones, uh, which takes about 5 to 10 seconds to complete. Story related, but it is another stage pad, and this is one of the coolest parts of the entire game as well. Hold the X button to shred through the light beam. Super cool as hell. What do you? Well, you try a firm. No, input. Well, if I hear. No, wait. This is you made, but once I will do you it. Kill the chase me. Back to. Just before we get into the big stuff, another bitchy joke. How does a guitarist greet another guitarist? I'm better than you. Oh, ho, ho, it's starting to get into the. Oh, it's starting to get into the bitchy ones now. The warped Cuban. I've been. Why did you? <sighs> Works for me. Let's hit. It.
Dude, it's the Stone Sea Turtle, dude. So this is the boss fight for this particular area. As you can see, he's got on the right hand side, uh, underneath his big fat chin. I think that's supposed to be a whale. That is where the Simon says things are going to be happening. So what you need to do is just slam on this stage pad. That'll go over and obviously you just need to do exactly the same. So copy the five things that are underneath his big old chin balls right there. As you can see on the right hand side. For some reason it took me about 20 seconds to realise <laughs> where that was going. So we are done with the boss fight, what we need to do is now a few more easy Simon Says bits, so obviously we're going to be pressing the Y button there. Uh, for some reason it just, this is the most confused I was through the entire game with the easiest part of the game. That's mad isn't it? Wham bam, thank you ma'am. That bit's done, we're going through the LSD phase now so we can head back through the cosmic butthole and into the cosmic lung. Now by the way, I left the boss battles in but didn't talk. I know it can be kind of distracting, obviously it's probably, you know, it's just easier for you to do it yourself. Um, but I left it in just so hopefully you're not having to pause the video and everything too much. Uh, but, th but again, that's just why. So if it's annoying, I do apologise but I left it in. You know, just so you're not wondering what the hell's happening, or just in case I've edited it a bit too crappingly. Yeah, so, anyway, so we've made that. We're going to speak to Pickle Rick once again. Uh, we've basically got now about 40 minutes of the game left. It's not too... Uh, I mean, it hasn't been too difficult at all. Oh, baby, look at us now. We are so cute. The best, well, <laughs> you got that right. All oh, right, okay. I can see why a guitarist's ego, by the way, heading down, I can see why a guitarist would get the biggest ego. As soon as someone calls you the best, that's it, you instantly believe it. Which is never a bad thing. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to start talking to Sam Jackson, and then what we're going to do is head up and talk to Skinny Purple Violet. I'm not... I'm sorry. 
You're sorry. You're sorry. I just don't. Yeah, that's Can I make a Sure. There's one stick. Would you have Of course. I'll pick the stick. Got a fee. And there's an old You'll get there one. Even if you don't Where's that? The end. Everything. <laughs> I'm remind. Where to? Well, if I didn't, doesn't miss how it is. How's he? You see? Uh, are you? Am I? Oops. Been up kind of hard. This about? You mean Mark? Been about that? Why do you hide a- Excuse- You're this- I don't even understand- Ask me how- How- I'm the gr- It has nothing- I'm just- What is that?! Did you do that? No! He's going back. The Hyperion Whale Zone. Ah, it's just funny. So, uh, obviously, head past the fairy butt flags. I still don't know what the hell they are. And, of course, we're heading down to the main theatre. We're not going to be talking to Sam Jackson this time. He is at Glamorgan. I think that's it. Or, or Glamorgon. Glamorgon, I suppose that says. Because I, from where I am in Wales, I live in Mid Glamorgan, which is hilarious. But that actually says Glamorgan. So, anyway, we're heading back through the Cosmic Butt one more time with another big level we've got to do. It's not. It is God. Only light. And he is. If the glamour goes. No one. Pat. Not the. No one. And the performer. I might. You might. That's correct. She books jungle is. F Lightman. I know. Maybe we try. I can. What a. I'll play. Absolutely not. You're good. Oh, but the gla Francis, I'm afraid this is a moment. There's no f out there. So and not. You believe that? I have to. Wish me luck if you want. We are super cool, we've got our garter on, we've got our G-string up there, we will do anything. So this is the last sort of main long level that we've got to do. Like I said, we've got about 20, 40, we've got less now than 40 minutes uh, left. In fact, we've got about 35 minutes left. And about half hour a round of gameplay, so... Yeah, we've got a crowd. I mean, d just look how cool we look, man. That, that is how you want to dress. If you want to be a rock star, this is how you dress. Don't listen to all that bull crap and don't look at all, you know, people looking smoking and hot in magazines. This is the real rock star look, okay? So, do it. <laughs> they worship me. Can you... Nope, Mr. Askel, did you... Delirious. I'm gonna. God. I should hope he's the same. You know, I. But I.
blunt. It's my story. I'm the I before the and it on. Oh. Yeah, he's already. So don't shoot the messenger here, but we've got a list of reasons why guitars are better than men. Guitars never argue. You are always right. By the way, I'm going to fall off a sunflower here, but again, we're just going to start at the start of the sunflowers, so that's cool. Guitars don't snore. Guitars never wake you up in the middle of the night for any reason. When your guitar is being played too slow, you can speed up. Your guitar will never earn more than you do for the same job just because it's a guitar. You don't have to continually assure your guitar that its string length is just right. <laughs> Again, don't shoot the messenger. I found that online. Which sounds to me like one woman is really pissed off at men. But there is one, <laughs> there is a list of reasons why guitars are better than women. Which I'll say in just a little bit. Wow. Anyway, we've got, uh, we're basically appe appeasing fish face monsters with three boobs. That's a good design. Frat traveling, what is like the ship? What up upper? They've got to make a ship the taste we need you. You place is it? What are you? I'm not listening. They're waiting for you. Look, look, here he comes. I saw it. It's just like my dreams. Solarist of the first world. We've watched magic. One book. So I can see. Look at this. Hated, adored, but never ignored. Go, go, Man United. Anyway, we're going to head into this um, little part of the building right here. Now, basically, we get asked if we want to ask a couple of questions. For some reason, I say three, but um, basically to obviously get past it a little bit quicker, just choose one. I really don't know why I said three. So, yeah, just say you may ask one. Uh, but for some reason, I say you may have three. So, we're going to get a couple of questions. If you only pick one, you'll only have one question. So... But whatever you pick makes no difference, so pick and what in the hell are you wanting? A marble stick. Question number two! 
Ah, uh, yes. Here's a hard one for you. A video drone. This is also quite the hilarious bit. We need to basically press the X, Y and B button to pull off a couple of poses. And then you can also make them dance like hell if you keep press, uh, press them quick enough. So it makes us look like, I mean, I suppose we are already off on nut, but even more so. Epic dance moves. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's us over. We can just now continue walking to the right. In where? Right? Okay. Friends, sorry, had to make my white humor. Oh no, and kid. Violetta. Um. Never mind. With a laugh, kid. This is about you and not caring. Violetta deserves. I'm about to. My name is. And you. Make sure you're. Oh, you. Right then, so this will be the final stage pad, so as soon as the conversation's over, jump your ass on it, and as long as you've gotten every single one through the game so far, and the same that I have, again, can be missed, but um, well, we've actually got to do this bit as well. Uh, so one or two could be missed, but because they were fairly obvious, like right in your face, big light beaming up from the ground, hopefully you shouldn't have missed any, but the achievement will unlock here when the bridge swings around, and that is us. Job done. And it's okay to jump down, by the way. Lightning's up and it. That's it. What is? I was. Yeah. Well, I'm a. What? A pop is not even. You. There's. Oh, but it's. I wouldn't. Um, a creature. If you. A pop. There's a. The rest and frag. Yeah. The top. Wish. Cry. I. Uh. No, there's no. My. Ow. No. The flower. Dancing. What in the blazing fuck? This p if it like a So as soon as we get up to the elevator, head to the left this time. Something a bit different, but uh, <laughs> I know it's absolutely mad. But we're basically going to go on top of this huge ass monster thing right here, and we're going to be doing the singular music notes once again. By the way. Why we're here and we're having a chat, here's the list of reasons why guitars are better than women. Guitars don't care if you look at other guitars. Your guitar won't care if you leave the toilet seat up. 
If you say bad things to your guitar, you don't have to apologise before you play it again. You can play your guitar for the first time you meet, without having to take it to dinner, see a movie, or meet its mother. If you break a guitar's G-string, it only costs 79 pence for a new one, and guita guitars don't care how many other guitars you have. Alright, I just feel like between that list of the women and that list of the men, that to me just sounded like somebody was breaking up and they decided to piss each other off because they hate each other. But uh, still hilarious points and we will take them gratifically. That's not even a word, I don't think. I will not shut shoulders but you're who are you I'm you've got you you're the I I love and a more dazzling I told you like men and it's an event you're it then you shall When we f you have been in the pro you've become words that and you I feel the you when I arrange I can hear and in the that's yet a just a you know what it is no it sounds like folk music Francis oh no that's I'm the there it folk who is He's he's a legend. What? Francis Johnson Van Van Lightman. He's got nothing. He's never even met. You think you could dress him up? Another? What are you? T he does not know. He doesn't need. It's got nothing to. When Lightman. F Who was? He was support. You you lied to the whole time. Like all those searching. It no no. That maybe I did want him, but I never asked. I never wanted you to be anything. The you stars die, yet you have a legacy and the state. Francis, but you can't. Your application to jam. I'm sorry, kid. You understand, one No! No! Wait!
Ah, oh, bruh, a lucky bruh. We just got fudged up. Were you expecting an epic boss battle there? Well, I say an epic, like an epic guitar jam with fish chinned hand lady. Yeah, me too, so a bit of a shame <laughs> that she sent us crashing back down to earth, but the game is not done yet. Um, but we are back to our normal, disgusting self. We don't look like the weird son of every KISS band member and Super Saiyan Goku. So welcome back to the town which has no eyes or the, everyone's glasses are steamed up. Literally don't know if the developer could be asked. They've done enough eyes through the game and watch our friend here genuinely looks like he is about to erupt from his ass um, in terms of pure constipation slash diarrhea. So it looks like he needs a pill. Watch him shake now. Oh, it's not working. My stomach hurts so much. That's hilariously what exactly he looked like. So when he tells you on screen to just hold the X button to do a couple of jams and wait for the surprise. Surprise, mother. Now, no, f maybe I bought Calypso. Maybe you're thinking, maybe where you know where I'm headed. The glamour. So, there we go, then. All of a sudden, just by playing the guitar with passion, we ended up going back onto the weird alien planet that we just, or oh, Ramjet Rock, whatever the hell this is. So, maybe that's all you need to do. Any uh, musicians out there, if you want to be superbly fantastic. You can play like crap, but if you play with passion and believe that you're the best, then you'll be going places. So, yeah, get yourself a guitar or drum set, because drummers are better. <coughs> drummers are way better. <coughs> Sorry, just a little cough right there. Welcome to Mid Glamorgon, which is my part of the world. Without the weird aliens, fluffy butt plugs, and the cosmic ass. So this is the final time that we need to do this and we need to basically do the Simon Says jamming thing six times. So there's going to be a couple of stage pads on three on your right of course, three on your left. Uh, but we basically have to do this six times. Now to me, does the little thing, the Glamorgon, does that not look like a set of um, the vaginal lips? <laughs> does that not look like a cheeky little uh, drawing of a... Uh, you know, a vagina diagram, 
right there, moving. Or is that just me, or am I just being filth again? Apologies, anyway. Anyway, get ahead, get this done. <laughs> this is an incredible thing.
And that's it, baby. That is the game beat, but that is not the game completely complete yet. Oh my god, it looks like she's gonna be. Sp I tell you what, you could literally eat me whole with them lips, girl. As are you, Glamorgon. Oh, it was not your eyes. Oh, I... Tope. My... You do that. Thank you, my new friend. <laughs> There's nothing like a cruise across the universe to shoot those post show. Yeah, I think there is. What now? Well, probably gonna forget my friend. Reap the. No. I'll wear the. Wait. Hey. 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 You wanna. No, no, it's got a lot to. I didn't. Because I thought it didn't matter. And I was a kid. We'll catch you around. Did it come I'll think about it. Where are we going? Who cares? We're on a victory lap. Did you? I was way. I suspected. I didn't know. Want to know something? He hated the rivers. That's just too. Huh. You can't just leave me here. I'll never. Re you still gotta play. I can't. The fest. You haven't missed. I forgot. You nervous? No. Where are you gonna go? Impossible to set turns me in. Why? Well, We're just. I'm not looking. So what? No. I owe you. That's why. I'll so after all that, then we don't even get to stay on that planet. So we are the the best thing that ever happened to their planet since sliced. Whatever the hell they eat, sliced leg chair or something, I don't know. But she just drops us off and that's it. That's kind of disappointing. But we are at the beginning of the game once again. So, of course, what we're going to do is head all the way to the left, looking badass as hell. Um, I say badass. On that planet, fantastically badass. In towns where uh, they are just completely overrun with chavs, you probably look like an ass rather than badass. Because you know what chavs are like, they all think they're absolutely solid. Oh, you big gothic, oh, I'm going to knock you out. We've all had it. Everyone with long hair has had that happen to them. Oh, I'm going to knock you out now, you know, from a kid that is 15 and about 6 stone when wet. Little punk ass bitch. Anyway, like I said, go, go ahead, go all the way to the left. Until we get to the after party once again. Head through Theresa May's field of wheat. Yeah. 
You kid! There is a world where the hell were you? On the far side of And what in Lord's Net Johnson Vendetti wouldn't be Found it in a mall. Can't tell if he got his constipation sorted, this guy, but uh he still looks angry, so I assume not, to be honest. Like the you better give the I'm gonna give him some And there we go then. So that is it. Everyone is now happy. So everyone went from loving folk music to now loving me. They love the heavy metal. Metal. Because metal is always better than folk music. And it doesn't matter who you are. That's even folk music. Or even folk music fans don't like folk music. Even though they'll tell you that they do. <laughs> but uh, that is it then for the incredibly and visually stunning the artful escape so there we go guys and gals hopefully you enjoyed the game hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well we had a few laughs as we always do if it did help don't forget of course to like comment share uh, and subscribe as well share with a friend and everything a big shout out again to Beethoven and Dinosaur there for the incredible game and Annapurna Interactive for the publisher. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Patreon as well. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to see support the channel. Including T.S. Chan, T.S. Spange. Always butcher your name, sorry bro. Um, TimG84 and Coast. And everyone else as well who continues to support the show, even if you're not on Patreon as well, I really highly appreciate everyone who continues to show me the love. And there we go then, guys and gals. That's it for that one. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.